equations of two diameters of a circle are 2x minus 3y is equal to 5 and 3x minus 4y is equal to 7 and the line joining the points intersect the circle at only one point p alpha comma beta then 17 times beta minus alpha is equal to so here given a circle and two of its diameters are given and we can say that the point of intersection of the two diameters will be the center so the point of intersection of the two lines we need to find so let us solve 2x minus 3y minus 5 is equal to 0 and 3x minus 4y minus 7 is equal to 0 to get the center so let me solve minus 3 minus 5 2 and minus 3 minus 4 minus 7 3 and minus 4 I'm using cross multiplication. So starting from the second letter, minus 3 minus 5 and again 2 and minus 3. Similarly, minus 4 minus 7, 3 and minus 4. So the first two columns are for x and the second two columns for the y coordinate and the last two columns we can consider any constant like say 1. So x upon, so here you can say the determinant of this 7 3 is a minus 3 into minus 7 is 21 minus minus 4 into minus 5 is 20 so 21 minus 20 is equal to y upon now let's consider the second column and third column and taking again determinant minus 5 into 3 minus 15 and again minus of minus plus 7 twos are 14 which is equal to and the last two columns consider 1 upon 2 into minus 4 is minus 8 and 3 into minus 3 is minus 9 so plus 9 here so x upon 1 is equal to y upon minus 1 is equal to 1 upon 1 so we can write x is equal to 1 y is equal to minus 1 therefore the center of the circle center of circle is 1 comma minus 1 and it is also given that the line joining the two points intersect the circle at one and only one point which means that it is a tangent so tangent equation let us find the equation of a line equation of line joining minus 22 by 7 comma minus 4 and minus 1 by 7 comma 3 we can write by using the formula y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 is equal to y minus y1 by x minus x1 two point form of a line so let us use it y2 minus y1 that is 3 minus of minus 4 that is 3 plus 4 divided by x2 minus x1 that is minus 1 by 7 plus 22 by 7 is equal to y minus y1 upon x minus x1 or we can add 7 divided by 7 into 7 divided by 22 minus 1 is 20 21 so we can add here 7 3 times and here it is y minus 3 into 7 upon 7x plus 1 the cross multiplication will be getting 7 times of 7x plus 1 is equal to 21 times of y minus 3 that is 49x or we can write here 7 3 times we can cancel and we can simplify so we got 7x plus 1 is equal to 3y minus 9 or we can write 7x minus 3y plus 10 is equal to 0 which is the equation of a tangent to the circle so we got a circle with a center 1 comma minus 1 let's mark c and the tangent line passing through two different points minus 22 by, comma, by 7 comma minus 4 and another point minus 7 comma 3 the tangent equation we got it 
7 X minus 3 Y plus 10 is equal to 0 and we need to find this intersection at point that is P alpha comma beta say this is a B say this point is P alpha comma beta where we can say that it's a foot of the perpendicular from the point C upon the line so we know the concept from a point x1 comma y1 and the foot of the perpendicular upon the line ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 say h comma k which is given by h minus x1 upon a is equal to k minus y1 upon b is equal to minus of ax1 plus by1 plus c upon a square plus b square so by using this concept we can determine the foot or we can also find the equation of the line cp and the point of intersection of these two lines also can be determined we can also determine point of intersection equation cp line and ab line we get the point alpha comma beta now let us use this concept so h comma h is nothing but here alpha beta so alpha minus and from the point that is 1 comma minus 1 so alpha minus 1 upon coefficient of x is a here 7 which is equal to beta minus of minus 1 that is plus 1 divided by coefficient of y is minus 3 is equal to minus of ax1 that is 1 into 7 and minus 1 into minus 3 that is plus 3 and again plus 10 upon a square plus b square that is 7 square plus minus 3 whole square that is 3 square so alpha minus 1 upon 7 is equal to beta plus 1 upon negative 3 is equal to 7 plus 3 10 plus 10 minus 20 divided by 49 plus 9 that is 58 so which implies alpha minus 1 upon 7 is equal to minus 20 upon 58 or we can write alpha minus 7 is equal to minus 20 into 7 divided by 58 so here we can write 210 times and 229 times so alpha is equal to minus 70 upon 29 plus 1 that is minus 70 plus 29 will give minus 41 divided by 29 similarly for beta value so beta plus 1 upon minus 3 is equal to minus 20 by 58 that is minus 10 by 29 so beta plus 1 is equal to 30 divided by 29 so beta is equal to 30 by 29 minus 1 that is 1 divided by 29 so the value of beta is 1 divided by 29 value of alpha is minus 41 by 29 and our question is about 17 times of beta minus alpha so we can write 17 times beta value is 1 by 29 minus alpha value is minus of minus plus 41 by 29 so 17 plus 14 41 is 58 58 divided by 29 is 2 so the answer for this question is 2